hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can make patch api call with the retrofit also it is this video is in the continuation of my previous video in my last video i show you how you can make a uh, api call with the post method and in this video i'll show you how you can make the patch method so patch is basically for the updating a record so in my last video this is the data which we get from the api and this is the record we have created i show you in my last video as well you can find the link in description so this video is in the continuation of the previous video so we'll continue so first of all inside our retro service interface we'll add a get method that is to retrieve the new created user so once we'll make this api call we'll get the record and set it inside our uh, edit tags which is name and the email so i'm changing the name and then i'm using the same path so it's the url path is gonna be the same and we are going to use the same headers and only thing we need the user id so since we already have the user id when we made the above post api call so one we in the response we got a user id so we'll be using the same user id to update the same record and now we need to create another function which is for the patch so this function will be using to update the same record so we'll change the function name as well and this function need the user id as well as the body parameter so let me add that second parameter here so body params will be containing the updated data now it's time to update our view model so we already have a create new user live data we'll be creating a, another live data for the loading our data from the server so we'll initialize it and now i'll create another uh, function which will return this observer and this observer will use to just get the record from the server and now we need to create another function so i'll copy this and make the necessary changes like i'll change the function name to load user data and it just need the user id so we'll make this change as a string and pass it to load okay get user data and we'll pass the user id and now we need to use the observer we just now created and that data will be returned to the main activity now we need to uh, create a, another function to update the same record so let's copy one more time the same function and paste it and change this function name and here we need the user object with the updated what user is entering inside the edit tags as well as the user id and we'll call the retro service instance dot update user data and we'll pass the user id and user object and we'll use the same observer in the main activity and here we need to make few more changes in our main activity so first thing we need, will create a function a private function which is going to just get the data from the from the view model and we'll call it from the on create method of our activity so 
so we'll set our get load user observer now we'll check if response is not null then start reading data and set it to our edit text so first edit text is the name so we'll call set text and user response dot get data dot get name similarly we'll do the same thing for the email now we'll call view model dot load user data and we'll pass the user id so i show you this is the user id we already create this user in our previous video so we'll use the same user id here and we'll call another function will which is going to be called the update user data function of our view model and that will be called on the button click so when we'll click on this button then this function will call and then this will update the record inside the server so we'll re read the same data as we did for the create new record and we'll use the same id not to here you need to pass it here so user object is filled with id as well and now we'll call update user data and first parameter is user object and second parameter is the user id and that's it yeah first it will load data set it to our edit text and then it will call update user and will make the update user data api call for the same user id let's run our application and see how it look like so uh, get is working absolutely fine so in last video we create this data test post one two three test post one two three at yahoo.com so let me update the same record I am adding some numbers on it and the same number here in the email clicking on the button so successfully created user that's great let me close application and launch it again okay there you go so we can retrieve the same record let me do it one more time I'm adding some more numbers update it successfully let me close and open there you go so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you